We have a sweet treat in the News 9 kitchen today. I am joined by Michelle's Sweet Shop. Michelle herself is here to share some sweet treats Hi. with us. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Of course, you are famous for your popcorn. Yes. And you're busy making the popcorn right now and all the tins yes. that you uh, people give oh, out for yeah. the holidays. I can't even tell you how many pounds of seed we've gone through already. <laughs> all different kinds, if you're not familiar with it, you do savory and the sweet with mm -hmm. the chocolate and all of that. Yep. So. We do. Many different flavors. Yes. But today, you're also a sweet shop, so yes. you're showing us how to make these great candy kebabs. Yeah, they're a cute little gift that, um, you know, if you have something you need for your classroom, they're really easy to make. Um, all the candy that we're using today, you can find in our store, and you can buy as little or as much as you want. But the only thing you have to be careful of is the skewers mm -hmm. with, when you're working with kids. But right. you know what? It is really a nice classroom treat or even classroom project. And they have a lot of fun putting this together. Yes, I love it. Because you can eat candy too you, while you're making it. Exactly. <laughs> You've made some Christmas trees and the little snowman is so cute as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So, so many different ideas, right? Yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit. It's just your imagination and candy. And if we can show the candy, you brought in so many different kinds of candy. I did. So you can kind yes. of pick and choose what you like um, and you can let your you know imagination run yeah, wild, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna make the um, this one right here, the little, uh, I call them my candy cane. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll also show you how to wrap the, these are power belts, sour power belts, or mm -hmm. sour candies, but if, if you're you know familiar with ribbon candy, um, that's kind of what that look is right there. Yeah. But it's just basically weaving the uh, power belt, like so. And then just you know putting it on a skewer, but obviously I would probably start with like a, a gumdrop first. Mm -hmm. Oops, with the pokey in, which is the end you want to be careful of. And then just skewering it, and just like just you just like you would meat, only it's candy. Um, you know, and then keep adding your candy as you go. Mm -hmm. But the little um, candy cane guy is gummy bears, so I'll start with my red one. And as you say, I mean, the kids like to make little treats to give to their yes. friends. Well, everybody likes um, to make treats and everybody likes candy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what a better way. But <laughs> like I said, this is the only thing you really won't need to be careful with is the skewer because right. obviously it's sharp and you wouldn't want anybody to be poking their eye out. Mm -hmm. um, and if the gummies were a little softer, I guess yep. they'd go through a little bit. But um, yes, yeah, well, some of the candy will be a little bit harder. Some mm -hmm. will be softer. It just really depends on what you're working with. Right. But as long as you're careful, um, and these are just juju coins. Mm. I don't know if, any, if you've heard of them or not, but um, they're also soft, kind of a licorice kind of taste to it, mm -hmm. um, like so. And that goes on. And like there that. you go. Yeah. And it makes such a cute little um, gift, definitely. Yeah, and then you just find these little treat bags, which are in any craft store, and there you um, go. using a twist tie. And then you're just going to finish it with ribbon, curling awesome. ribbon. All right, and people can find you, Michelle, at your store. Yeah, we are on uh, Route 102 in Londonderry, New Hampshire, in the Crossroads Mall. Or they can go to us online at nhpopcorn.com. And we're open, our store is open every day except for Monday. All right, great, Michelle, thank you. This is a great idea.